in here, what we're talking about today is what is music? And um, which is a pretty interesting question. Now we're not being rhetorical here. From a, a musician standpoint, we seek to define what is music to give us a perspective um, as musicians. And so basically, loosely speaking, music is defined as organized sound. And that's kind of a very elementary definition, but organized sound. And it's organized in three, three particular ways. The first is pitch, in other words, how high or low a note is and its place in that spectrum of notes. And in the uh, Western, what we call Western music, we use a thing called the chromatic scale, which is 12 notes. And those 12 notes repeat higher and lower in both directions in the audio range, in the range that we can hear. The three things that, uh, that we organize sound with are pitch, time, and duration. Two of those, time and duration, are related to timing. And so timing is everything. I always tell my students that if you uh, have ever heard a band that really sucked, you know, just a really bad band, chances are they were destroying the timing. I also tell them that you can play a wrong note and your audience will forgive you, but if you mess up the timing, they'll walk out on you. Timing is crucial, very, very important. So try an exercise where when you're listening to music, tap your foot or finger or whatever and feel where that beat is, right? So that beat, the beat is what we synchronize the timing and durations to. We synchronize the notes that we play to the beat of the music. So what is a beat, you might ask? Well, that's that's a pretty tough question actually, isn't it, when you think about it. But oftentimes they call your pulse, your heartbeat, right? It's nice rhythmic steady pulse that's going on. And the beat of the song should be the same. A nice steady pulse. It can be fast, some the faster songs, sometimes it's a faster beat, slower songs it's a slower beat. But nonetheless, that beat should be there and it should be nice and steady very rhythmic, very periodic are words that we use to describe that. So that little tidbit, the pulse of the song is found in a thing called the time signature. And in most modern music, that's going to be four beats uh, in every measure. So it's going to repeat three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so very, very important to know where that beat is. Some people can feel that naturally, so if you can, you know, if you're listening to music and you naturally start tapping your foot, dancing along with it, that's fine. But if you can't, um, work on that. Because if you're going to be a musician, if you're going to play music, guitar, or any instrument for that matter, then you need to know where that beat is and you need to learn to synchronize to the beat. So it's all about timing, guys. Music is all about timing. So we spend a lot of time learning where the notes are on our instrument, but the bottom line is when you play them, probably more important. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Feel free to leave comments in the comments section below. Like and share this video if you, if you enjoy it. And up where somewhere is going to be my ugly mug, click on it to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you join me. Thanks for watching. Bye.